Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing 15 new cozy mystery releases that are coming out in 2024, mostly the first half of the year, and I'm so excited to be sharing these with you. I'm a huge cozy mystery fan, as you guys know, and we're just gonna hop into the synopses for these, and let's hop into the first one. The first one is called Murder at a Scottish Castle. This is by Tracy Hall. It is book five in the Scottish Shire Mystery series, and it's coming out on January 23rd, 2024. I personally love this series. Our main character is Pace. Shaw and she's like in her very late 20s. She's got a son who's about nine years old, Brody, and her grandfather also lives with her. The series is of course based in Scotland. So this one takes place during the summer. Everything the days are getting shorter in the seaside village and they're going to have an annual bagpiping competition at Ramsey Castle, which is supposed to be the big end of season blowout. Paisley's really excited because she snagged a special invitation from the Dowager Countess who wants to showcase her cashmere goods in the castle gift shop. She's also bringing her son Brody, her grandfather, and her black Scottish terrier Wallace. There's this big fierce rivalry between Robert Grant, the Earl of Lennon, and last year's winner Jory Baxter, with Grant loudly vowing to sh show up the blowhard Baxter and claim clan bragging rights. But the reigning champion has barely put the reed to his lips when he turns red and collapses, taking his dying breath and the doctor suspects foul play. So there's a possible murderer in their midst and the rest of the town isn't going to breathe easy until Paisley puts on her sleuthing hat and solves the case. Can't wait for this. The series, the writing style for this is so beautiful. I love the writing style. I love Paisley as a character. I thought the mysteries were really good. I've read the first two books so far and I really want to read some more. Next we have one from a newer mystery series. I started read book one in this series last month and I really enjoyed it. I'll link my reading wrap up above if you want to check it out. But this one is part of the Ground Rules Coffee Mystery Series. This is Death Unfiltered. It's book four in the series written by Emmeline Duncan and this is coming out on March 26th. 2024. I love the plotline for this series so much. So our main character in this is Sage and she has a very interesting past where her mother is actually a known con woman. And although Sage has not followed in her footsteps, she has some of the training because as a child her mom kind of trained her on like conning people. So she's got kind of an interesting perspective on that which I think is really cool. But she's basically running this um, like food truck with like coffees and pastries. And in this one she's excited because she's going to be opening her first brick and mortar shop. Which is something she's been working hard to get. But there's kind of a couple kinks in the plan. One, there's this woman named Bianca who runs a breakfast place nearby. And Bianca is just really snobby. She's in her face. She's really rude and off-putting. And then we have another person who's a TikToker and true crime like podcaster, and they keep wanting to interview Sage about her mother, the con woman. And Sage is like, look, I don't want to be part of this. Come on, like, stop, guys. Unfortunately, at the building's grand opening, Bianca actually ends up collapsing with a cup of Sage's coffee, and it's been laced with something. And Bianca's boyfriend points the finger at Sage, and the TikToker is vowing to solve the mystery and Sage is not feeling too optimistic about that so she gets involved in the case. I really enjoyed the first book. I found it just to be a little more off the beaten path in terms of cozy mysteries with like the, the con woman back story and I just really liked it. I thought it was really refreshing. I loved the coffee elements. Really cozy. This is one of my all-time favorite cozy mystery series and that is book 10 of the Noodle Shop mystery series by Vivian Chien. It's called Pecking Duck and Cover. It's coming out on July 23rd, 2024. So I am an avid fan of this series. I'm actually completely caught up on this series. I've read all nine books leading up to it. I devour this series and I strongly recommend it. Our main character is Lana Lee and she works as a hostess and manager at her family's noodle shop restaurant in this place called Asia Village which is a plaza with all types of different Asian establishments from like restaurants, bars, spas, um, shops, everything you can imagine. And so they've had, you know, some bad reputation over the years with all the murders that have happened there, just like pretty much any cozy town or setting. And Lana is really excited because she's going to be working with Ian, who is kind of the manager of the entire plaza, to put on this really great Chinese New Year celebration. So everything is going well. They're excited for the publicity this is bringing until one of the lion dancers is actually found dead with a bullet through the heart and an envelope with four one dollar bills which is an omen of death and now ian is enlisting lana to help him solve the case 
could not recommend this enough. I will definitely be getting my hands on this as fast as possible. Coming out in June 2024, we have another Peg and Rose mystery series. This is a part of the Senior Sleuth mystery series. It's called Peg and Rose Play the Ponies, a Senior Sleuth mystery. It is book three in the series written by Lorianne Burnson, and this is coming out on the 25th of June. So I love this series because the two main characters, Peg and Rose, are rival sister-in-laws, and they have a very begrudging relationship. Like, they're working on it. They're becoming friends throughout the series but they didn't talk for years and they like hated each other when her one Peg's husband who's Rose's sister was her brother was still alive so in this one they're actually going to Kentucky and Peg is somebody who judges like dogs and shows and so she's going to judge some dogs in this competitive show Rose is kind of coming along and Peg's really glad she brought her because it turns out that when they arrive on this farm to meet the young horse they meet the manager there Jim and he's got some serious anger issues and he's giving off some pretty bad vibes they're not really enthusiastic about working with him but Peg continues to go judge this dog show but Rose comes back with shocking news when Jim is found dead on his farm and no one's really that upset about it because as most people put it, he kind of had it coming. But they decide to look into it and the more Peg gets into the show world, the more she realizes how much Jim was actually manipulating the shows and like the winnings and stuff too, which is really big. So her and Rose have to kind of put their differences aside, work, on, work together, use each other's strengths and solve this mystery. And I cannot tell you how excited I am for this one. Hi guys, I'm cutting in here because the audio for a couple of these books was atrocious so I'm going to refilm this bit so you're going to see me in this outfit for a couple more books and then I'll flash back to the green outfit so thanks for bearing with me let's hop into a poison pen which is the next release in the Scottish Bookshop mystery series by Paige Dalton which is one of my favorites it's one of the series that kind of got me into cozies I love it so it's book nine in the series and it's coming out on April 9th 2024 and again it is the Scottish Bookshop Mystery Series. So the basic concept of the Scottish Bookshop Mystery Series is you have our main character Delaney. She is kind of from like the Midwest of the US. She moved up to Scotland in the first book. She's made a life for herself out there. She's working at this like rare bookstore and her boss Edwin is like fabulously wealthy. He gets all these treasures and like historical relics and she kind of is like an assessor for them. She goes through and she kind of tracks down like the lineage and different historical facts and he asks her to check out this artifact that one of his friends Jolie found in her home and they're not sure like if it's really valuable or what it is so Delaney goes out there and while she's there she's greeted by this legal team that has this big vested interest in the property. Jolie's barely able to get Delaney on to the property to look at the artifact. There's also this really interesting mystery around whether Jolie could maybe be royalty because apparently Jolie's mother claimed that her daughter was actually like an heir to the throne or like royal and it's supposed to be like the proof is supposed to be in these journals but the royal like secretaries have the journals and won't let her look at them so Delaney starts to dig into the mystery. I love this series if you like a bookish cozy, Scottish cozy mystery and you like kind of like historical or bookish related mysteries you can't go wrong this one's so good. Next we have Ellie Alexander the Bake Shop mystery series a cozy classic. So this is just such an amazing series. This one is called A Smoking Bun. This is book 18 within the Bake Shop Mystery Series and it's coming out on February 20th, 2024. And basically this one, like all of our other Bake Shop Mystery ones, takes place in Ashland, Oregon, which has the most beautiful like seasons and holiday celebrations. I love this series for like the seasonal themes it has. Incredible. And this one of course takes place during winter. There's also a lot of Shakespearean undertones because the theme or like the um, town does a bunch of Shakespearean like festivals and theater productions and I love it. It's so great. So our main character is Jules and she is the daughter of the mom who started the bake shop Tort. She comes back in the first book. I do recommend reading this series in order if you can but Jules is a pastry chef and she's just such a la wonderful lady so loyal she's baking up a bevy of spiced curry buns and chai cookies for a moonlight snowshoe tour and then Ramiro's family is visiting from Spain and Jules can't wait to meet them. She's excited to show them all the beautiful trails, the stars, you know, the snow, the winter wonderland adventure. 
and they're actually going to return to the slope the next day for the downhill dummy, which is this annual competition where contestants strap makeshift dummies to skis and send them hurling down a death-defying ski jump in hopes of catching big air. And the team at Tort is actually doing this themselves this year. They made this replica of a tiered cake and a baker who kind of resembles Jules. And it's super fun and it's festive until one of the dummies takes a deadly detour and lands on top Fitz. And he's a guide on the mountains and he's got a reputation for having frosty relationships. There's a lot of snow, there's a lot of suspects, and Jules is diving into the investigation. I love Jules and she's got so many quirk, there's so many fun side characters in the Big Shot Mystery series. I really recommend reading in order. They really build upon their storylines throughout the series. And I love Jules and Lance. Lance and her are like my favorite duo. They're so funny. I love them. Speaking of something, I mean, I love all of these. I know I'm saying that a million times, but it's true. <laughs> this next one is part of the, the um, Jane Austen mystery series by Laura Levine. It's called Murder Buys a One-Way Ticket. And this is book 20 in the series coming out on June 25th, 2024. And Jane Austen is a freelance writer. She and her cat Prozac, like I said, very comedy heavy. This is this is a very lighthearted, very like self-deprecating humor, funny, funny, cozy. I really love it. Anyways, Jane is a freelance writer. She's always getting into all these interesting gigs. As a freelance writer myself, I recently did a day in the life. If you want to check it out, you should click above. I'll have it linked. But you always are taking on kind of some interesting odd jobs to make ends meet and all that. And so Jane finds herself on this train and she's going out to Los Angeles and she is going to be working with this wealthy like gym chain like owner. Like he owns a bunch of gyms. And, and this is her client. But unfortunately she finds out that he's a tyrant. He's a bully. None of, no one likes him. His staff hates him. Like he's got a you know, a giant number of people who kind of want him dead. And unfortunately, on the train ride back, that's what happens. He's found dead in his his room on the train, and Jane is trying to solve the case. And I, I love this. I love the train location, because you know it's kind of a closed murder. I'm hoping her cat, Prozac, sneaks his way onto the train, because that cat is just one of my favorite parts of the whole series. So much fun, so much personality. Next we have not one, but two books from Jen McKinley who I adore. Again, one of the first authors who got me into cozies. This one's called Fatal First Edition. It's book 14 in the Library Lovers Mystery series and it's coming out on February 13th, 2024. It also features a cameo by a character from Kate Carlisle's Bibliophile series. And this one's interesting because most of the Library Lovers Mystery series takes place in, I think it's called Briar Creek. I might got that. I'm gonna put that on screen if I got that wrong. But it's this beautiful like town on the East Coast, on the water, very atmospheric. But this one actually takes place in Chicago because Lindsay and her husband Sully are out there, and they're going to this like librarian conference because Lindsay is a library director, and they're on their way back on a train another train one here which I'm all for. They're on the way back when Lindsay discovers this tote bag under her seat and it has a very like rare book in it. So she grabs the book and she returns it to the conference director because she thinks it's valuable and she doesn't want you know to end up in the wrong hands. Well later on the conference director is found dead and the book is missing and they know it's got to be on the train again closed mystery right there and they're on the case. Cannot wait. I love this. It's such a great bookish cozy. In fact, if you're looking for bookish cozies, I recently did a video with my top 12 bookish cozy mysteries. I'll link it above for you. The other Jen McKinley series that I love is the Cupcake Bakery mystery series, and this one's adorable. The cover, I could not love more. This one's called Fondant Fumble. It's book 16 within the Cupcake Bakery mystery series, and it's coming out on June 4th, 2024. And this one actually involves football, which I think is a kind of interesting cozy mystery element. Usually we have more, I don't know, books, baked goods, food, knitting. So football is kind of out there, but I'm really excited for this. Basically, we have two football players who actually want to open their own cupcake franchise. And they are just really excited. So they're actually working on opening a fairy tale cupcakes franchise, which is what the two main characters, Mel and Angie, own. And they're spending their off-season in Scottsdale working in Mel's Bakery. They're learning about the business and how to bake amazing cupcakes. They also bring in a lot of customers to the shop because they want to see, you know, the football players, their fans, and they're really excited for this. And most people are really supportive of these athletes opening a bakery. However, some of the other players and a lot of the coaches, the team owner, the sports agents are against it because they're afraid these football players will leave the sport and like retire early. 
and to like open and pursue their dream of opening a cupcake bakery. So they're really against it, they're really concerned. Well unfortunately one of those naysayers is found dead on the floor of the new bakery following an argument with one of the professional football players, making them a prime suspect. So now Mel and the rest of the Cupcake Bakery are on the case and they're ready to step up and prove that this franchise owner to be is innocent. Can't wait, I think this is great. I'm on a big football kick right now with football season. Anyways, I love the green and yellow color scheme. Those aren't two colors I usually put together in my head, but the illustrator did such a good job. Like how gorgeous is this cover? Can't get over it. Next we have In Sunshine or In Shadow, a Molly Murphy mystery series. This is book 20 in the series written by Reese Bowen and her daughter Claire Royals. And this one is coming out in March on the March 12th, 2024. It takes place in New York, 1908. So this one takes place during the summer. Our main character is Molly Murphy. She's an Irish American immigrant. She is very feisty. She, in the beginning of the series, is a female detective. Later on, she gets married, but she still gets into sleuthing quite a bit, even though her husband, who is like a police captain, is a little concerned about that at times, as most cozy mystery like sleuths like friends or families are naturally. Well in this one Molly's actually sent out to the countryside with her children because she's expecting a child and there is a outbreak of typhoid in the, the New York area so they're concerned about her health and the children so they send her out to the countryside to stay with her mother-in-law which they've had a bit of a frosty relationship but she's actually really surprised because her mother-in-law is actually being a really great host they're getting along but she's feeling a little bored well, her friends, Sid and Gus, who are like, who used to be like her neighbors, they are nearby and Molly decides to visit them for a bit because they're kind of in this artist community. They have a lot of interesting friends. They're a little less traditional than a lot of the people in Molly's life and she really appreciates that. And of course, there happens to be a body at some point found. Molly gets delayed staying out in the country and she gets sleuthing. So I couldn't recommend this enough. It's a really great historical fiction series that I've very much enjoyed. I think... I think I'm all, I'm all the way caught up on this series actually, so it's one that I definitely recommend, very much have enjoyed it over the years. So our main character in this is Felicity Jin, and she grew up in a really wonderful home with her mother, who was always baking in Pixie, California, and her mother had this way with baked goods, she made really enchanting, lovely, cozy, comforting ones, and Felicity tried to learn from her, but she's always been a little apprehensive about baking, but after a takeout meal that she makes goes wrong, she decides to try to make fortune cookies. And the fortune cookies become so popular that Felicity actually runs out of like the pre-made fortune like messages and she starts to make her own. Well, a customer ends up taking one of her fortune cookies and eating it, and it has kind of an ill-fated fortune in it, and then that customer ends up dying and the police are looking at Felicity like, well, how did you know? that this customer was gonna meet, you know, her, you know, match or something like that. So Felicity is now trying to solve this case to clear her name. I'm very excited for this. I've read her LA Night Market mystery series. I need to get the second book in the series still, but I loved book one and I cannot wait for this series. All right, and I think this is our earliest cozy. It comes out January 9th, 2024. It's called A Bean to Die For, A Coffee Lover's Mystery by Tara Lush and it's book four of the Coffee Lover's Mystery series. So this one is actually the only one on this list where it's a series I haven't read and it's not a brand new series, but I'm very excited for it, so I'm including it. And it's another coffee one. I'm really on like a big coffee kick right now with my cozies. And this one has our main character, Lana Lewis. She's brewing up new concoctions at Purgatory, a popular cafe in Devil's Beach, which is where she wants to try her hand at growing her own coffee. She gets a gardening plot in the community garden and... The garden's owner, Darla, actually has a huge list of rules for everyone who's renting a plot there, but that doesn't stop someone from leaving Jack Daggett's body amongst the gardening plots. Jack is an environmental activist, and he had been banned from the garden previously because he got into so many fights with Darla about organic produce. Lana promises her boyfriend, Police Chief Noah, that she's going to stay out of the case because she's been involved in a few before. But when she learns that Jack died from an accidental overdose and Darla is the top suspect because of her shady past, Lana feels compelled to help her out and to clear her name. She did, She dives deeper into the case and she learns that Jack had so many enemies. So essentially Lana is on this case, she's trying to solve it to clear Darla's name 
and I think this just sounds really fun. I really need to read this series. Let me know if you have because I just really caught my attention. This next one is actually a an anthology of cozy mysteries, but I had to include it because almost every author on here I have read and I have loved. Like I'm familiar with so many of the authors on this list. It's called Cozy Case Files Volume 20, a cozy mystery sampler. And it includes authors like Ellie Alexander, Reese Bowen, Claire Broyles, Olivia Black, Jennifer Chow, Anastasia Hastings, Olivia Matthews, Gigi Pandian, Mindy Quigley, and Paige Shelton. The only author on that list that I haven't read is Anastasia Hastings. Let me know if you have, but every other author on there I have read and I've loved. All of these are culinary cozy mysteries and you get a great sampler of a bunch of different cozy authors, so I had to just throw this in here in case you're someone who loves short stories or you want to just try out a bunch of authors all at once, because I personally love all these authors basically. So very excited. Um, it is coming out on January 23rd, 2024. And last but not least, this one is also by Emmeline Duncan, who was the Ground Rules Coffee uh, like cart mystery series I mentioned before. And this is a new book. I'm not sure if it's part of a series. It's called Chaos at the Lazy Bones Bookshop. And it's coming out on July 23rd, 2024. And it takes place in a Halloween themed town of Ellen Hollow, Oregon. Our main character's name is Bailey Briggs and as far as I can tell this is a cozy mystery. It seems very cozy. So she's taking over her grandfather's bookshop. She's learning the dark secrets of the town and she's also working on her own graphic like novel and she's trying to direct and manage this lit festival in town all while Halloween is taking place. So tons are going on. Unfortunately the festival kind of has a hitch when a body is discovered at the very beginning of the festival. And unfortunately Bailey is actually a lead suspect in it because there's some pretty daunting evidence against her. So now she's relying on her librarian friend and her dog who is the bestest like dog ever apparently and lives like lives in the bookshop with her which I love and she's trying to clear her name and also prove that this town isn't as haunted as its reputation suggests. So I had to include this. It looks so cute. I've never heard of this series. If it is a series at all let me know if you know more details but that's what I could find on it. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like cozy content, mystery content. I do tons of that on my channel. I post content every week on the channel and I hope you'll hit subscribe. Let me know what your top three from this video are that you're most excited for and I'll leave my top three down below. See you guys in my next video. Bye!